Just hold up. Holy fuck. Uh. He's got a text there, or what? Yeah, you got, are you recording? Yeah. Why so, does this stuff happen to me now all the time? There may be an unusual transaction on your Visa card ending in 0088, CIB flag, $6.49 at 7-Eleven store. Do you recognize this? Yeah, I bought a pop yesterday with my card. Why is that suspicious when I bought stuff at the 7-Eleven on multiple occasions? Not multiple, so many pops. We've had so many pops at that 7-Eleven. And now CIBC is sending me a text message saying, and I'm not lying to you, it just came, it was, it was at midnight. Did you make a purchase for six forty nine? Pretty sure, remember? We got those uh, pop tarts and like. Or but was it six forty nine? I can go back and review my bank details and find out if it is. Yeah. Do you want me to do that right now? I don't know. I want you to call Rick. Let's go. Right. In between all the stuff that gets. It's shut the down Lotto Man. You know what a Lotto Man guys is. So you guys served the cops, eh? Well, we got evidence that they're fuckheads. And they don't serve anyone. We got some good evidence, huh, guys? How many videos now in two and a half months? We're up to over a hundred or I don't know. It's like ridiculous. This one. <laughs> well, you know what? If you don't stop your fucking shit, people, and, and let him do this. Oh, so he's ignoring us now. Maybe he's in a big meeting or he has someone talking to him right Remember now. Remember the stutter in his voice? Was he afraid of us or them or he's trapped in the middle? Hi Rick, Hamish Campbell calling from Certified Tech Roofing again. Please give me a call back. Cat's got your tongue. Hurry up, Rick. 647-339-9835. What's the problem, Rick? If there is an issue, please let me know. Okay, take care, bye. So text him. Rick, we need to know the problem with the word. Which word is a problem? Well, like, this, talk while you do it, man. Well, this is my new phone that, like, we had to buy two new phones. We're already on, like, phone 50. Because they killed the other one, so now I have to set up the phone. Uh, We're already on, like, 50 phones, guys. Send a message to this guy. These what cops have people? access. They're the worst hackers around. Yeah, so I'm reconfiguring uh, phones all the time to get access to networks again to be able to call people and do my job and roof and things like that so i don't know we can't even fucking roof this is a full-time job fucking just trying to get a fucking uh, so system set up so i've learned to do voice recognition um text messages because i just don't have time to type stuff anymore well why don't you type because you're being a dick and you're disobeying orders. I told you Type to do a text, out. and then you go into these voice recognition no, ones. voice recognition text. Like you taught me, right? You do a, you, Just I type it, a, type it in, bro. No. Hi. Rick. Can you tell us what word is the problem? Or if there's any problem? We yeah. seem to got cut off the line. Hamish Campbell here, so fine. Is there some kind of fear issue? I'm gonna do the voice rate so much faster. Can I do the voice rate? It's a sl way slower for me to type. Like, voice rate is faster, dude. Voice All right, I'll let faster. you do it. I'll let you do it. But I don't recommend it. Okay, I'll, why not? I don't know. I don't have time to explain shit, All right. guys. Something? Before I had time to explain and brief you on everything. Now I just can't brief you on everything anymore. It takes too much time because you don't believe. You know, to brief you on a 30 second thing, we got an argument for fucking half a day sometimes. Okay, but... Stop it, boss. Don't argue with me anymore unless you want to fucking have them win. 
arguments are deficient. So, so that's pretty cool how I brief you on a 30 second fucking thing, Hamish, and it takes like fucking half a day of an argument sometimes, eh? Because you uh, think the cops are like beautiful and they serve the community and they're fucking all perfect and righteous. And I'm the fuckhead. No, when I, it's just more like when I ask you a question of why is typing different to doing the voice thread right now for this particular text message versus all I don't the feel like arguing with you for fucking anywhere from an hour to fucking three days. I don't feel like that right now. It's just a curious question. Yeah. Like, curious. Are, you, are you distracting me? So shut the fuck up oh, and I'm finish curious. it. I'm like, I'm like the people. Curiosity that. killed the cat. Why does some? No. So uh, remember that rule that I uh, that I said. Don't ask fucking questions, and you've been asking the most questions, eh, boss? I think people probably have a lot of questions, Rick. Yeah, but they're fucking following the rule. They they don't ask them. You you just ask them, and then you argue them for extended amounts of time. It's really, 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 really cool, boss. Is the mind so hard to trick? And how come they have uh, more polarity over the mind? Like, I got hardcore evidence, and we're still fucking arguing and still being dicks. Well, it's by doing videos, right? Well, I don't know. So, I suppose we, we can still argue, I guess. Well, maybe. You know, maybe maybe it's just my tricky fucking videos and they're completely in, innocent. So, okay. Yeah, they're probably so you, innocent. Yeah, you're right. So you're, we'll, let the, we'll let the fucking snake go. So why is this one texting and not, uh, like, writing the text and not just voicing it like all the others? Can you just like, do it? Yeah, so here it is. I said, uh, hi, Rick Hamish Campbell here at Certified Tech Roofing. Is there a problem with the wording of the ad? If so, let me know. Uh, uh, you kind of should have let me know two days ago. What's the delay? <coughs> Having problems with definitions, eh? something. Okay, hi Rick, Hamish Campbell here at Certified Tech Roofing. Is there a problem with the wording of the ad? So let me know. You kind of should have let me know two days ago what seems to be the problem. Uh. <coughs> There's always a problem with every other company, Rick. I guess we're doing talkings. We're in talks right now, I guess. I don't know. What, is there somebody interfering on the talks, Rick? There's always a problem with what? Talkings. We always have a problem with talkings. Is there somebody interfering with the talkings, Rick? Okay, send. And if there's no response... I guess there's no problem with the ad. I guess this, he just had a talking to. Any arguments on that one? Or do you just agree? No questions, please? Just agree? Or disagree? Your mind. Do you agree? Rick's been visited and has a third party talker on, on our behalf? Oh, you disagree? Uh, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm just wondering why. Just say Maybe. I agree. I'm just wondering why you make me do things that take fucking longer than uh, than the other thing that I could have done. And don't explain to me why when it's going to take me longer to do that particular task. And then you're like, hurry up, Hamish, get I it done. I used to plain explain to you why. And then we used to have an argument for, you know, 
I guess some arguments only last 10 minutes because I shut them down quick, but some are hard to fucking shut down and we last fucking four days and we're dicks. So how about I just fucking don't stop doing that and you stop asking questions and I just ask you a question. And uh, what do you think? You think Rick was fucking visited by a third talker on this deal? Yeah, I heard the shakiness in his voice in the beginning of the first conversation we had. It's he was like, like he was going to be killed, eh? I've had that shakiness in my voice in my life, so I can recognize it. All right. Um, all right, so I'll just tell you He what must I'm... have been visited by the CRT, the silent killer one. Hi Rick, Hamish Campbell here at Certified Tech Roofing. Is there a problem with the wording of the ad? If so, let me know. You kind of should have let me know two days ago. What seems to be the problem? Having difficulty with wording definitions? Question mark. There's always a problem with talkings. We always have a problem with talkings. Is there someone interfering with the talkings? That'll do. Yeah. Send. Now give me a call. Well, Rick is a dick. Uh, well, I'm a dick too. I'm, I'm more of a dick do. Rick's a dick do not. Hi, Rick. This is Rick A. We didn't get that fucking terminal. We didn't get that fucking reasonal. Um, we got cut off, yo. And, uh, we having a problem connecting again. Um, do you mind coming down to Weston and Rutherford? Maybe it's just our phone hacks. Um, we'll go to the jam chamber and, uh, do the record and give it to you. Uh, we'll give you payment, too. Um, so, uh, Rick... Uh, I know you're scared. You know, I don't like to beat around the bush. You know me from before. Um, what we have here is a serial killer that likes to uh, take a little two-ton jack and uh, jack the steering tie rod under your fucking vehicles. And then, uh, yeah, wheels pop off, you know, at 40K, 60K. You know, it's like popping, popping tires, you know. But uh, when you go on the highway and at a 10, 110k, the the accident is freaky, 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 uh, freaky, freaky, and um, it's really freaky actually. Uh, Seventy percent fatality rate, and it was all caused by a, by a two-ton jack bending a steering rod. Um, now we were uh, securing evidence at the Tim Hortons, Rick. And uh, what happened was uh, we got, uh, well, we phoned like five days, or no, it's been eight days now. Phoned the cops eight days for the sabotage report. And uh, I guess they took like fucking several days to show up, Rick. And then when they did show up, it was for fucking ladders that had the fucking red flag on it. But we were willing to solve the problem and cut off the ladders. Um, but they just, they just wanted to, uh, focus, they said there is no sabotage, and they wanted to focus on, uh, the criminality of coffee purchases and, uh, soup purchases. It's very, very criminal. We have to leave the property and we can never do it again, or else we're going to get shot or go to jail or something. They did have their hands on their guns lots, eh, with their clips open. It's like they're using their little fear psychology tactics. We we're wondering if they were doing that on you, Rick. Okay, so um, basically, 
If you go to the CB radio, Rick, you go get a CB radio app and uh, listen to the truckers. Okay. Uh, well, all the CB radios were pretty low on activity. But for the first time in history, all the CB years have went fucking certified. <laughs> um, now, before, on a first day, there's only one channel. Hey, hey, Seamus? Just one channel? Right? And on our second day, like, out of the 40 channels, like, probably, like, fucking... 35 of them are fucking active constantly lit up like a fucking like sir they all went certified in the first time in cb history is how like this never happened before in cb history C I, I guess a lot of people heard about the grand opening on the cb radio mm -hmm. so um maybe there's a problem with the content on the site I don't know. Uh, I don't this, think the site has anything to do with the radio mm -hmm. ad. You know, we'll have to dive right into it, but this is a public service emergency announcement in secret. Rick. Rick, we're warning the public about this serial killer through the fucking... Um, or it's actually a group of serial killers, right? And we're we trying... Just, and we're we trying... Just think we just take videos and collect We're trying to do a stuff. contest grand opening ad, but it leads to the site, which leads to the evidence, which leads to the emergency broadcast warning for the public to let them know that this guy likes to jack tires. Now, we're sitting uh, at the Tim Hortons. Now, when you jack a tire, it makes funny noises under when you're driving away. And uh, fuck, we're sitting at the fucking 7-Eleven last night, and I heard about fucking 17 people that came for gas that had their tires uh, jacked, I guess, uh, popping tires, I guess. 17 is more than I ever heard before. Come on, man. I'm an engineer. I'm a fucking, I'm the type of engineer that investigates accidents. I know my shit. Um, I've been investigating this for a very long time. But, you know, uh, we can't do a safety announcement on the radio. Well, I know it's kind of hidden, but we can't do a public safety announcement. Well, it's hidden. It's like disguised as a barbecue and a grand opening and a dance party or fucking something leads to the website. Uh, really, there's no content that's wrong on the website, but maybe the footage is wrong. But the footage is actually designed to warn people about uh, the serial killers. Come on, man. It's uh, it's it's a common fact that if you're doing uh, jackings and bending tie rods, it's a very high fatality rate at high speeds on highways. Okay, Rick. Do you know what's gonna happen if you ignore, ignore this? Rick. Rick. Come on, man. They're stronger than us, but you know what, boss? We're doing a video of you right now. What's the name of the radio? <coughs> What's his full name? KX96. Give uh, give the give the number. Give all the detail. You know, uh, we're gonna send Rick some phone calls, I guess. Rick Nida, senior marketing consultant, consultant, Durham Radio Incorporated. 1200 Airport Boulevard, Suite 207, Oshawa, Ontario, L1J 8P5. <coughs> Cell number 416-949-2042. That's KX96, New Country. <coughs> they have a whole bunch of radio stations. I think we were going on yeah. 94.9 The Rock. The Rock. Okay, what well, what else do they have? Oh, they have a bunch of stuff. Tell them! KX96, New Country FM, 94.9, The Rock, CKDO, which is uh, an AM. It's too small to read. Uh, Wave FM, 94.7, 92.9, The Grand. Okay, Rick. It seems like we're fighting over something, but we're not too sure what. Is it the... Uh... 
website for the roofing. That's all Plush and Prim Boss. Is it uh, the wording in the ad or is it the uh, public safety announcement through evidence? We're trying to get people to watch their backs. This guy's a fucking killer and he's going fast. He's trying to kill all the people that hear about it. He's working really hard too. Come on, boss. Fucking, it's your fault that we never got it fucking uh, up and running. I don't know. We just need the ad, and it is a grand opening, and there will be a barbecue, and there will be uh, balloons, and there will be dancing. And, and there will be a lot of cops with facial recognition, so we need to fucking, like, somehow uh, figure out a safety fucking measures, I guess. I don't know, Rick. Did you watch the content? Maybe they didn't contact you. You just fucking too fucking fucking scared. Maybe you should just fucking like cancel your fucking employees and just go fucking uh, artificial intelligence, you know? And then uh, instead of killing employees, they can just kill the fucking computer, like they did with our truck. Save a lot of time. You'd have a lot of spare time to like do other stuff if AI was doing that kind of thing. And they're really efficient. And they don't ask questions like I do. <coughs> they just say, right on. Well, we got that sorted for you. Not a problem. <coughs> so, I'd definitely forgive you, Rick, if, because I've done stuff like that as well. But basically, we just want to get the ad up. Can you give us a call back? Six, Don't seven, worry, Rick. Three three nine nine eight three five six four seven three three. We can't put on a CB right now, but you know we're gonna fix the truck. I don't know how many sabotages have we had on the truck. A few, eh? I don't know. We're like sabotage kings, I guess. Looking forward to hearing from you, Rick. <coughs> You're out. You're our lifeline <coughs> radio at this point for getting uh, the word out. <coughs> I don't know. Maybe we we're... We have a CB as well. I mean, maybe we're not allowed to put up evidence on the website. I don't know. Maybe that's illegal. All right. It's a 10-minute, 11-minute message. Go. All right. Send it and then call them back again. Bye. Just call him back from your other phone. Oh, yeah. That old chestnut. <sighs> yeah, it's it's, it's a trick on the fucking system. Did you ever call him from that phone? No. Nope. No. <coughs> and um, <coughs> doing that, they're like, oh, maybe we're going to get someone from Quebec to do an ad. We'll answer that one straight away. We really should wait an hour, but we don't have fucking time. Oh, oh hey, Rick. Hey, How's Rick. it going? It's this is fucking pretty cool, man. We had a hard time getting hold of you. It must be the hackers. So what's the problem on the ad before we get cut off again? Uh, what what word by definition? What word by definition? What word by definition? What word? Um, all of it? Did you just say all of it? Yeah, we need to be conventional on this. It's not going to work for you. I spoke to the creative director yesterday. And I spoke to the VP of sales at, like yesterday. And, and I'm going to be honest. This isn't going to be... I don't want to go with your fucking we stupid way of doing it. We'd like to do ours. We, we just, Even if it doesn't work. Okay, so no, no barbecues. No so barbecues are a problem. Barbe dan dancing or music's a problem. In Canada, is that a, a contest of dancing is a problem. What else is a problem? 
Can you confirm what's a problem? Can you just read through word for word and mark which words are a problem and which words aren't a problem? Actually, just send us back an email and underline all the words that are a problem. Are a a problem? Aha, uh -huh, problem. Why well, you play that on your radio fucking music all the time? So it can't be a problem. All the ayahs and yah yahs and ahas can't be really a problem. I don't care. We're not a professional company. We're a certified. Yeah, 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 yeah. For what reason, what though? What reason? What reason, though? Which words? What word is You're it? telling us all the words are the problem. So what's wrong? Okay. <clears throat> certified must be the problem, yeah. Because, uh... Certified tech roofing, which, out of which three words, which are the problems? Certified tech or roofing? Certified is crazy shit. It could be like crazy shit or fucking repair just, I'll shit. I'll read it out to you and you tell me what the problem is, okay? As I go through. No, you need to finish up and telling us exactly which words are the problem according to CRT, not according to your sales team and your design team. We're not gentlemen, we're assholes. All right, according to CRT... Which words are the problem and we'll remove them? What's the problem? The problem is... Uh, like, what, let's just delete the problem. Which words are the problem? <coughs> Which words are the problem? We'll delete the problem words. We're not gentlemen, we're assholes. Which words are the problem? Can you send us back a... Uh, email of which words are the problem and we'll delete it according to CRT not according to your sales team and your design <coughs> another one of those hang ups but it sounded like he was a little less scared and being briefed on how to deal with this and, and coming right, phone, through with like a phone him back and just say we'll rent certified tech roofing and nothing else Phone from your fucking flip phone. <coughs> this is Canada. <coughs> So they think it won't work, kind of, is what the reason. And we think it will work. And they're like, well, we're arguing. Like, we're it. arguing over fucking serial words, I guess. Dude, he knows it's, it's, he knows it's my number now. He can't do the trick. We're gonna have to get another phone. Start off with you. Hi, Rick. It's Hamish Campbell, again calling from Certified Tech Roofing. <laughs> okay, uh, we came up with a solution, Rick. You know, you're completely right. By definition, all of our words are illegal. Why According do to your minute, sales team. Why don't we just do a minute long ad of saying certifiedtechroofing.com? Yeah, like. Check out the YouTube. No, no. No, no. Not even. That's illegal. Oh. You know, you can't put YouTube on there. All right. All right. Yep. It's actually, it's actually, you can't. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But, um. We don't, we can't pinpoint the words, Rick that are uh, wrong according to CRT or whatever the fuckheads are. 
So we're just going to narrow it down to three words. Certified tech. Roofing. Roofing. Oh, no. That's four words with a dot. Dot com. Five yeah. Words. I, I, <laughs> five words. Certified no. tech roofing dot com. No, no. That's four. Dot's a word in, a, in the sentence. Oh, really? Yeah. How much per word, Rick? Five okay, words. so we're going to limit it to uh, four words and a dot. Um, we want to make payment now. Call it's me. pretty easy. Certified Tech Roofing dot com. That's it. That's all. Okay, so we need to know which one's the problem, Rick. Is it the com? Or is it the dot? Or is it roofing? Or is it tech? Or is it certified? Now, maybe you guys should just fucking rewrite our fucking company, I guess. If there's a problem with certified, you know, then, uh, you know, we can transfer it to whatever name you would like, Rick. So you pick the name. If, if there's a problem with certifiedtechroofing.com, you, you pick the name. We'll transfer all the data to the site of your choice. So whatever you want, whatever you want to call those few words or whatever. You know, you are the designer, right? I guess. I, I guess you have to design it with your sales team because you uh, pick what works and what doesn't work. We actually. Tr <laughs> so if there's a problem with those uh, four, five or four words, five, five or four words, if there's a problem with any of those five or four words, then Rick, guess what we're gonna do? You're gonna fucking pick the words of the website. And then we'll transfer all data over. You're creating a lot of work for us, Rick. So I, I prob probably certified because the definition go, can go a crazy way or it can go for like vehicle fixing or contractor fucking certifications and all that kind of stuff. Go either way. Certified can be used for like two different fucking things. So it could be that. Yeah, it could be the tech part, you know. Mr. Justin True doesn't like tech, he figures it's fucking terrorism. Um, or it could be uh, roofing. You know, that could be because we don't wear safety harnesses, right? Well, we do if it's really necessary. But no, not, flat, not, even, like not even. Not even. Not even. You know, there, <coughs> there's, there's actually a reason there. We're, we're unsafe, so they can't use roofing, according to TRC. Well, we have our <coughs> we have our employment liability insurance, uh, like our, our. But that's not liable if you're not wearing safety harness. So there's, well, there's no. just technical difficulties, I guess. Hey, Rick. We narrowed it down to for you. Can you mind telling us which word is fucked? <coughs> hey, Rick. Do you know? Uh, do you know what? Uh, there's like a charge something where you help some uh, murderer. This is actually a really nice ad. I'm reading through it now. I'm like, oh my god. Okay. People are gonna love this ad. But, you know, there, there's like that fucking thing. What what's that thing? Um, that charge where you uh, assist a criminal. Um, <clears throat> aiding and abetting in a crime. Yeah, and this is a multiple murder case. Hey, Rick, we're undercover, you know? We got a show. Yeah, we're official. Um, we're actually undercover. Um, hey, Rick, you're, uh, you, we have evidence on you, video evidence, that you're assisting criminals. So you need to get back to us and tell us what the problem with uh, certified tech is. Like, you could go to jail for this, Rick. I know, I know. We give you a way out. We cut all those other words on the ad. We're just going with certifiedtechroofing.com. And then if there's a problem according to CRT with those uh, few words, you need to let us know and uh, place some words in replacement. We'll uh, get the website and transfer the data.
Okay, you said it was the words in the ad, not not the video footage on the website or the data on the website. So that's all fucking clean. I'm lost for words right now. No. Because... You're just a simple bee that does what I say. We're going to throw a lot of people in jail, man. Basically anybody that abates and assists a criminal. <clears throat> no matter who it is. It could be a cop. It could be a medical official. It could be a fucking bank. It could be... Uh, how many? How much evidence do we got now? How many people are we throwing in jail right now? It's non-negotiable. The crimes have already been committed. Hey, Rick. You better call your cop fucking criminal friends and tell them that uh, I'm a big fucking dick. The biggest dick around. Hey, Rick, I don't even work for fucking Canada, okay? This is a global investigation with many investigators. <coughs> Apparently this fucking cop's been going around taking all the towns and the cities too. And whoever doesn't give him the keys, he just kills. And then they're replaced. You know, but most people are scared and they give him the keys, eh? Hey, Rick, do we look like we're afraid? Or do we look certified? It's good evidence, Rick. You're not responding. You're bringing up all these reasons that are not fucking uh, valid. You know, you could have told us that it was a footage on the website. But you told us it was the words. Remember? I'm disappointed, Rick. We got email transfer of uh, the words. And uh, I'm sure uh, anybody in their right mind that's not being threatened would say that uh, your claims aren't true. They're just directed by the drug cartel fucking slaves that are serial killers. Don't worry, Rick. Rick, Rick, back then, people wouldn't believe me. But now that we got all this evidence, they believe. Kind of irrefutable. I don't know. Some people don't believe, but, you know, they're uh, cops and government and radio station and banks. Abayas and abettas. Yeah, I guess they're going to jail. You know, the average teller at the bank doesn't go to jail. She's just going off by direction. It's it's really the owners. It's like Trent we called Chatter yesterday, and Trent <clears throat> was like, oh, I can only put $50 through on your credit card, bro. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, don't worry, Trent. It's not you. We know it's not you. Okay? It's not like Trent set the system. It's the owner of uh, Chatter that set the system. So he'll be going to jail. And uh, there's a lot of murders here, so the abetting uh, uh, a murderer um, and helping him out. Well, if it's just one murder, I think you'd go to jail for a couple years. But what if there was like tens and thousands of murders that we have evidence on? In all different ways, not just the tire rod fucking way. You'd be have life in prison for fucking assisting that. So you want to reevaluate your situation? And call me back, 647-339-9835. And don't worry, boss. We're coming down to your office. And maybe you can call the cops on us and tell us that we can't do certified tech roofing. And don't worry, we're well-trained individuals and we got backup ops too. Like I said, we work for a different country. I guess Canadian citizens can't place a radio ad. Or no, we aren't Canadian citizens, are we? I'm not. I'm not either, I guess.
It's really cool though, you, you, your system lets us leave very long. <coughs> so I will tell you exactly the situation. <coughs> Can you please get up back to us and we'll respond immediately when the call comes through. And don't worry, we have truckers coming down. Take a look at the CB radio. We would tell you to look at AM28, but apparently all fucking stations have became active. Now we're going to go get our truck fixed because we got it sabotaged again. The reason why we got it sabotaged is to stop the CB radio. But uh, they're already on their way. And we're just going to let them know what's happening with the radio ad. You know, these truckers, they get happy and mad at the same time. You should check out the chatter, Rick, on the fucking CB radio. You didn't know that it's a... Uh, all planned ahead of time. <clears throat> what do you think, Rick? You don't believe us? Go look on the CB radio. It's like a certified fucking tech operation. Rick, 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 well, I was Rick. Even having Why fuck with a millionaire that mows his own fucking lawn? <laughs> what if you're fucking with a billionaire that mows his own lawn? Hey, Rick, you have to give us proper reasons by definition. You can't give us your fucking bullshit fucking orders from the police. 12-minute message, yo. Well, it's important stuff. It's, it's all evidence, too. Know. Yeah. Right? Hey, you want to jack off right now? It feels so good to fuck somebody, eh? Hey, let's check off, man. All right. Catch you later. No, no. Oh. Let him fucking stay on the line. Fuck. Get walking, man. Fuck. You know, at least we can have some fucking kind of a break here, man. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. Hey, uh. Oh, my God. Shit, Rick. Fuck, you should come join us, man. Uh. Jesus, man. Ooh. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. You know, uh, sanctioned by another nation. Oh, it's actually a joint operation with many other nations, actually. Um, hey Rick, can we you know, send can we send Rick, you some fucking audio? Rick, hey Rick, can a, a we seven nation army couldn't hold us back? Yeah, hey Rick, can we send you some audio of um, uh, your communications, just to show you that we have uh, kind of like evidence collecting fucking shit or something. I don't know. Most people think we're stupid, but that's just the undercover part. Oh, my God, Rick. Jesus Christ, this feels so good. This is, like, the best jack-off I ever had, bro. <laughs> like, when we get fucked, I guess it fucking feels good. Holy fuck, man. Jesus the fucking... Dark fuck us, Rick. Sha Seamus. Dark. No, we could try to get him fuck us every day. Like, this This feels fucking actually fucking, like, 50... Well, you love hell. 60, I'm getting used to it. 60 times better, this fucking jack-off fucking session. Like, this is the... You know when you get a fuck, you know, and a girl that fucking sucks, and then you get the girl that's the best fuck ever? Rick, this jack-off session is, like, fucking 100 times better than normal. I'd say it's a trophy chart. Oh, my God. Oh! oh. Hey, yeah. Oh. Holy fuck, Rick. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not going to believe this, Rick. My load that I just came is like fucking like, I don't know, it's usually just a little white stuff, eh? Holy fuck, man. This is like a big fucking load. It's everywhere. <laughs> Rick, you did me a favor, man. Holy shit. I never spewed out so much fucking cum in my life. Fuck, that was great. <coughs> How about you? That was efficient. Got the dub done real quick. <coughs> Can we get some more efficiency <coughs> on um, getting this ad out? <coughs> but it seems like that's not going to happen. Well, if you don't cough, you don't get off. 
16 minute voice message now. Uh, I think we covered all the key points. Hey Rick, we decided to go your way just with certified tech roofing. We assume that all normal wordage is illegal according to CRT or your design team. But we were the designers, Rick. Why the fuck are you ripping our shit, Rick? I don't know, you must be supporting a fucking uh, drug cartel slave, I guess. A serial killer. A hacker in high position. He must have hacked into you and came and visited you. You know, we've been making him run around and fucking keeping him busy. He well, don't want this country to go to fucking hell, do you, Rick? No, he doesn't. He's just afraid of his fucking head being shot or fucking tie rod tied. and He doesn't have enough security. But it is assisting a fucking criminal when you do that, Rick. Abating and assisting. The Tim Hortons got, they, they got us off property, uh... And I know you can't talk to the police to get security. I mean, it is the <coughs> police that are <coughs> doing these threats, right? <coughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They threatened me yesterday, Rick. Uh, when I was buying a coffee and a soup, they threatened me. So imagine. Yeah, they forced us imagine off. Imagine what they're doing over an ad. They, they, they forced us off property to. Uh, make evidence uh, less official in court uh, at gunpoint. And uh, they couldn't really find a suitable bylaw or law, so they picked soup, um, coffee, and ladders. Oh, yeah, and parking, too. Well, oh, maybe, maybe sitting. They said just that. The I don't think, I don't think we... Property anyway. No, no, I don't think it was talking. I think it was sitting, soup, coffee, or parking. Yeah, but what happened, Rick, is uh, uh, the owner of the Tim Hortons uh, abated and assist uh, officers. <coughs> well, you know, that's if, that's if it's true. You know, if the owner didn't call in... They said the owner called them. <coughs> they have that on video. <coughs> we actually have them called on video, but... <coughs> <coughs> Maybe it was one of the employees. Maybe the owner is innocent, you know? But we have a little bit of spy tech, and uh, we record the phone calls, and uh, we know it was the owner's. Because the employees actually are fucking working for us. It's it's uh, an investigation that's ongoing for five years, Rick. <coughs> Holy shit, the cat got our tongue, eh? Well, I was about to say, I know this Rick K is a dick, but don't be a dick, Rick. Give me a call back, 647-339. And remember, remember... You get to pick the words of certified tech roofing is not. You can even just choose another website name and we'll transfer it all right, like you said. At this point. <coughs> You're giving us no other options. <coughs> so if you have an idea of uh, the best way to proceed with that. Uh, well, no, he can't. He can't idea. proceed because he's refusing to serve us, and he's abating and abetting a criminal that is that we have evidence on, like fucking a shit ton of murders. Like it's it's a shame that we're ordered to let these fucks murder people. Just to collect data. Dark data. <clears throat> like we have to watch people be killed all day long. Me and my team. Can you imagine why he's pissed off at me when I? disobey uh, an order or something uh, after what he's seen. Yeah, this 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 case is so fucked up. 
all of our uh, like secret agents or whatever you want to call it, uh, none of them would take Seamus's position. And we needed Seamus's position to collect all this fucking shitty evidence, or no, really good evidence, or no, is it shitty or good? I don't know. We'll have to get some analyzers on it. <coughs> Ballsies. <coughs> yeah. Apparently I don't mind when someone points a gun at my head and says don't do it. Well, you are a military officer. Yeah, because I think I care about the kids too much to, to worry about that kind of shit. So what's your biggest worry right now? Me? Yeah, the biggest worry is getting killed, eh? Mm. And oh. not finishing the mission. My biggest worry is that people won't hear about this because of, because your, of your kind of stuff and because of their kind of stuff. And I'm worried like... So you're not worried about, about being about, killed because not, you've seen the evidence of my team, eh? Yeah, I'm not worried about being killed. I'm not even worried... Like, I've seen the evidence of the security we've got, <coughs> so I'm not worried in that sense. But even if we had no security at this point, I wouldn't be worried either. Hey... Rick, you know uh, your company's responsible for the extra timeage of security? I don't know. How long have we been dealing with this? Don't worry. We have all the invoices and stuff. Uh, we'd probably have to take your fucking radio station, you know? And it wouldn't even pay the bill fucking 5%. But we'd broadcast the truth. Like, like, the bill of this security force is paid by several different nations, a joint fucking effort. We have a shit ton of people around us. That's why we're still alive, Rick. We have scaring techniques that uh, when they come and put the fucking shit under our truck, they uh, change their mind and run away. And we even, we even hooked them up with special license plate. By SS54. By 54. You know our ad number, our 1 800 number? The last digits are 54. By 54. Certified. By SS. <coughs> <coughs> See you later, SS. By SS. Yeah, check out that license plate. Did we upload that footage? No, bro. We. Oh, they We've blocked. Been kicked off from the Tim Hortons Wi-Fi right now, and I'm trying to do it for my cellular. <coughs> it's like super slow. Sorry, guys, for the. <coughs> <coughs> but we'll go find some faster stuff, and we'll get that up real quick. <coughs> so why don't you tell Rick about your uh, special forces military training? And uh, you were like the guru, uh, guru on special forces military training, eh? Like, you went to all the courses that were, like, super hard and not all, all the military trainers did that, right? Officer training, yeah. And officer training. Like, you, you had training on, like, more stuff than anybody, really. But, like, you know the ones that were really hard, like, when you're in the fucking special forces, uh, the special unit or whatever? Yeah. How hard was that? That was hard. It was uh, really hard. Like, harder than fucking hell? Yeah. Okay, now my I was training. Younger back then, physically. Uh, yeah, but my day. training. How much harder is it than all that training combined? It's the hell of training. No, how many times harder? Hundreds, hundreds and. Hundreds okay, the years. first fucking week. How many times harder? It was a hundred times harder in the first week, and it's getting harder all the time, Rick. Okay, it's escalating every time. So at this point, how many times harder? Thousands. Thousands times harder. Oh. I don't get a break, Rick. I don't even get like, like two hours sleep maybe a day for the last forty days. Yeah. That's hey Rick. Hey Rick. Hey Rick. You know we need a break, and if we don't get one, we're gonna really pay attention to your evidence. We're gonna put some extra hours in on you. If we don't get to fucking warn the public about this shit, we're going to put some extra fucking hours working on your fucking evidence alone that will cause different fucking situations and things. You know, Rick, I knew there was a problem before I even fucking phoned you. 
but the we're a very good analyst on the voice. You're like, and your your voice had so much fear, like you just had the cops fucking point a gun at you, dear. <coughs> All right, well, I guess it's proof and evident now. He said all of the ad wasn't fucking good, but he said it was according to his uh, sales, uh, production, uh, production cur career. content creating. Yeah. Like what the fuck? I, I guess I guess according to CRT, it's all good. Ready to go, but according to our sales team, <coughs> <coughs> I guess they have to design the shit for the radio, and we can't design it. And and well, we played a lot of the same shit, you know, a yeah 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 ha. Uh -huh. Rick you a. know, Rick A, you know. Like, they already play all this. Manda. You know, they already play all this stuff on the radio. No, <coughs> certified, certified. Certified, you know. They play that on the radio quite frequently, you know. Like, Was it's it a the, star that made a fucking radio song about certified, I guess. I'm noticing there's an F word in the ad. <coughs> is it the F word that's the problem? Well, is there an F word? Yeah. Where? Fr freedom. Oh, yeah, that is an F word, eh? Yeah, it's an F word. Freedom. 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 Yeah, I it, could, is, it is an F word. We, we could have... beep that in the ad if it's a problem. We could say, like, in Maya, honor of the beep, queen, yeah, yeah. Or we can just beep whatever's a problem. We'll beep whatever, whatever's a problem in the ad. So, you know, because you want your fucking money time, right? So we'll just go like this. What's the first part of the ad? Mr. A right now, right here today. I don't think any of that fucking shit is fucking good. So it'd be so like beep 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 beep